بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. You see, as human beings, we have certain weaknesses and core behaviors. These are our bestial animal urges. This is our bestiality. These are the characteristics that we share with the animals. This is what bogs us down. This is what reduces us to the lowest of the low. This is what prevents us from rising and scaling the heights of, to and scaling the heights of spirituality. This is what prevents us from becoming close to Allah. This is what makes us animal-like, bestial in our behavior. And the nafs, the soul, the lower self, in conjunction with shaitan, is always trying to pull down the human. Always. And it is always whispering its urges, its temptations, its seductions. It could be related to anything. There is only one way of overcoming this. Only one way. And that is by reminding oneself of one's accountability before Allah Azza wa Jalla on the Day of Judgment. And that's exactly what that verse says. وَأَمَّا مَنْ خَافَ مَقَامَ رَبِّهِ وَنَهَا النَّفْسَ عَنِ الْهَوَى فَإِنَّ الْجِنَّةَ هِيَ الْمَأْوَى As for one who fears the standing before his Lord and prevents the nafs, prevents the soul from its desire, then indeed Jannah, paradise, is the abode for such a person. There is only one law. There is only one monitoring system. There is only one surveillance which will ultimately prevent a person from doing something, not just apparently, but even in heart and mind and spirit. And that is not any human form of surveillance, but just the consciousness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which is taqwa. Just that remembrance that I have to stand before Allah on a day to answer for my deeds.